In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulihil amin sayyidina wa habibina wa syafi'ina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. And welcome back again brothers and sisters to our daily program Our Common Humanity with me Imam Shamsi Ali. Insha'Allah Ta'ala, in two, three days, we are going to celebrate Eid al-Fitr. And it means returning to our fitrah. Returning to our fitr. I'm not going to talk about what does it mean to be al-fitr here because there are two opinions. The first opinion says the meaning of fitr means futur. It means comes back to our food, daily food we can eat on the daytime. But some other scholars say the meaning of fitr means fitrah, and that is our purity, being as human being, that everyone, every person is born in the state of fitrat, in the state of purity. But what I'm going to talk is about the reality that our fitra is oftentimes being covered. Essentially, every human being is fitri, pure. And inherently, everyone has that fitra in his heart. And therefore, Islam views human being in a positive way. We don't see any person inherently bad in fact the opposite we see every single person as a good person as a positive one it is because of the environment and because of the egoistic tendencies including the powerful strong bad desires and whims that make people oftentimes away from his own fitra. But if you talk about fitra, everyone has a fitra. It reminds us about Fir'aun Laanatullah Ali when he even claimed to be the highest Lord. Ana Rabbukum al When Musa Ali Salatu Wasalam invited him to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to believe in Allah, he rejected it arrogantly with arrogance and the reason is because he feel he felt that he is so powerful he's a king and he can do whatever he wants according to his feelings and so he claimed to musa alayhi salatu salam 
that I am the, the highest Lord of you. Ana Rabbukum, I am, O Bani Israel, children of Israelites, or Egyptian, the highest Lord of you. You can imagine this, the most arrogant person ever being born to this world. Consider himself not only as a God, but even the highest gods. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him drawn into the sea, the ocean, and no one, including himself, can save himself. He could not save himself in the middle of the ocean. What happened at the moment? He acknowledged and he says, Al ana amantu bi Rabbi Musa wa Harun. It is now the time for me to believe in the Lord of Moses and Harun, in the Lord of Musa والسلام, and Harun. But even that, the way he expressed, he expressed that with an expression of arrogance. He didn't say, oh Allah, oh my Lord, Ya Rabb, save me. But he said, now I believe in the Lord of Moses. Why Rabb? Musa wa Harun. Why he didn't say my Lord? Because he wanted to say that Lord is only the Lord of those who are weak, those who are poor, those who are marginalized. The Lord is not the God for the king and the powerful. This is arrogance. But the point that I would like to underline here that even at that moment, Fir'aun la'natullah alayhi still has that fitra enlighten his consciousness because at that moment his arrogance is being driven away by the powerful waves of oceans that he felt that he could not even save his own self and that's why he came back to his fitra the point i like to underline brothers and sisters that during the month of ramadan one of the most important things that we have to learn is how to pressure, to put pressure on our egoistic tendencies, on our bad desires, on our whims, so that we can have our fitra arise again, so that we can see the truth as a truth and the bad as a bad. How many people around us? Looks like healthy, educated, strong, looks like civilized in manner sometimes, but in many ways. They act arrogantly, they act ignorantly, they act out of civilization, uncivilized. Why? Because their fitra is being covered by their ego, by their desires, by their arrogance, and so on and so forth. And that's why the month of Ramadan truly, the month that from the very beginning, we learn how to humble ourselves. We must humble ourselves by acknowledging the authority of Allah. By saying, oh Allah, my food apparently is mine, but I don't eat it when you say no. It means Allah has the highest authority. Allah, my drink is mine, but in time that you said don't drink, I don't drink. Why? Because the authority, the power is in your hands. This is what we learn in the month of Ramadan to make ourselves constantly humble to the Lord of the universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we keep aside our food. We don't eat. We don't drink. Even though we feel that all those belongs to us and in our ability to have it, we can buy food, we can buy drink, we can eat anything that we want, but we don't do that. Why? Because we want to keep aside the power of that desire for a moment. The strong desire and egoistic tendencies for this dunya for a moment, we keep it aside so that we can clean our nature, our fitrat. So that we can be led by the fitra. So that we can judge on the best, on the base of purity. That's what I call fitratullah allati fatara nasa alayha la tabdila li khalqillah. But unfortunately, many people, 
their filter have been covered by their egos and their whims and desires. And so what happened? They tend to do destructively. They tend to do many destructions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Ar-Rum says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Al-Zahra al-fasadu fil barri wal-bahri bima kasabat aydi nas Mischief, destruction, many facade, many bad things happen in the land and in the sea because of the hands of the people, what the people have done. Now, why the hands of the people have become becomes dirty, doing many destructions, many bad things? It's nothing to do with hands. Physically, it's okay. But these hands is being controlled by this one, by our hearts. And our hearts will not be able to control our physical body unless our heart is being purified so that our fitra can see again what is right and what is wrong. We can distinct, we can differentiate what in between what is right and what is wrong, between what is beneficial and what is harmful. Because sometimes you see the people are so educated, highly educated, professor, doctor, and others, but they are doing things bad. Why? Because they don't, they cannot distinct they cannot differentiate between what is right and what is wrong by their heart and therefore brothers and sisters truly in the month of ramadan as we are going to end this month one of the most important lessons that we have to take with us in order to continue our journey in this coming months of the year is that we must clean our heart we must come back to our fitra so that we can live our life on the basis of purity we can live our life based on our own interests as human beings, not that is harmful to us. People know that drinking alcohol is not right. People know that drinking alcohol can cause into many destructive things, many harmful things. People know that, you know, saying gibbet and fitna and rumors and spreading hoaxes around on social medias can create tension, division between members of the community, but they are still doing it. Why? Because they have something problem. They have a problem in their heart. And therefore, in the month of Ramadan, we learn to clean our heart so that we can make our fitrat once again healthy and strong so that we can live our life normally as human beings. And a normal human being must be Muslim, inshallah ta'ala. So we can come back to our real Muslim, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. I just wanted to say, taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum. And inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Laylatul Qadr. Aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top-tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained, alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. TV.